Hey everyone, today on the Techno Gardener, we are going to explain the basic concepts behind soil moisture and how it applies to your plants. Plants are able to obtain water through a process known as capillary action. This is water's natural ability to adhere to surfaces and flow against the force of gravity. Water will cling to other surfaces and actually pull itself up, as seen by the meniscus in many containers. The narrower the container, the higher water will pull itself up. In the case of plants, the water is pulled out of the soil with the roots using capillary action, similar to how the paper towel is pulling the water from one glass to the other. After a watering period, soil is not able to retain all of the water. Due to gravity, gravity, this water will run out immediately after saturating the soil. This is known as gravitational water. You will notice that there reaches a point when the water stops draining from the sponge. This is known as water holding capacity, defined as the water content of a soil after the excess gravitational water has drained out. Because of capillary action, water is able to adhere more easily to soils that have greater surface area. Because sand is made up of relatively large particles, it has much less surface area than its clay counterpart, and it can't hold as much water, thus having a smaller water holding capacity. However, in most cases, soil is not entirely just sand or clay, rather a mixture of sand, clay, and silt, known as loam. The amount of water that a plant can extract from a soil is known as plant available water. Imagine the sponge itself as the soil and the hand squeezing as the plant extracting water for use. Initially when squeezing, water comes out easily, but the more that is extracted, the harder you have to squeeze. There comes a point when the plant can no longer extract water from the soil to sustain life. This is referred to as the wilting point. Even though there may be water in the soil, it is too hard for the plant to extract. In the case of the sponge, although there still is moisture inside the sponge, no amount of squeezing will be able to get that remaining moisture out. Hey, thanks for watching. To see other cool videos and products, visit vegetronics.com.